Okay, so um, what about if you've had one illness like back pain and then you have another kind of uh, different type of pain come up after you've cleared, well, after that's cleared through the course or observing or whatever? And how does that all relate to guilt? And what about if you're cancelling stuff, you're not cancelling the core stuff, you're just cancelling surface stuff? That's what I took. Um, I would see it differently. Um, I would see it like um, it's natural after you cancel one thing for the next thing to be brought into awareness for the next thing to be cancelled. Like There's layers of things that need to be released and sometimes they release after one illness or one problem has, has resolved, another one comes up, the next thing that needs to be cleared. So I think that's not normal. I think, you know, in terms of cancellations or the observer, um, you're just... Um, now, there's two different things that can happen. If you're just cancelling or observing until it disappears, or it seems like the cancelling or disappearing is not, you're not really getting to the root of it, uh, of what it is. And if you suspect there's a deeper thing that needs to be cancelled or cleared or observed before that thing will release, uh, that's not seen. So then well, I would still do the thing of cancelling the thing that seems to be obvious, and then you can just pray, pray for a miracle uh, to the Holy Spirit for it to be revealed. Um, what is the hidden block? Uh, if there is a hidden block, what did that for to, to be revealed to you, uh, so that you can you can clear that? Because it is possible sometimes you'll cancel something, or observe, but it seems like you, there's something more you need to release or know um, for why it's not sort of shifting. So I would I would do those things. I mean, in terms of the guilt, 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 you know, guilt and repressed emotions in relation to illness. Yes, I mean the illnesses manifest dependent on the level of repressed feelings, or 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 uh, you know, it's like all that guilt and shame um, are like a magnet to thoughts which mirror that. So a lot of you know, like a lot of guilt, I, I deserve punishment or I'm shameful, I deserve to die, will often, uh, at an extreme level, will, you, like a magnet, you'll pick up a, a thought from the collective consciousness, which will, you know, maybe kill, you know, from what is believed, kill you very quickly, like it could be something, you know, that threatens your life within a few weeks, or whatever, or some kind of illness, which is horrific, or it could be if there's not much guilt, uh, you know, you get something moderate, or if there's hardly any guilt, um, at worst, you might just get a, a cold for a few days, which just disappears. So it just depends on the level of, of um, negativity and limiting thoughts that you're holding to what tends to manifest how dark the uh, manifestation is. Um, but uh, you're clearing both of them. You can cancel emotions, you can cancel thoughts, you can observe emotions, you can emotions, observe thoughts and stories, and they clear. And, and, and there is a case sometimes of... Um, of if something is hidden or unconscious that you need to also clear and then you can just pray for a miracle for that to be revealed but also in my experience sometimes if you cancel and observe it just comes to you you first have to let go of the obvious before the less obvious it gets revealed you know like the unconscious reveals itself after you've let go of the obvious then you realize you got to let go of that deeper thing that's behind the story that's making the other stuff um, appear so uh, there was, uh, was there, what was there? Yeah. You know, like all kinds of things were revealed to me uh, on my journey of letting go of kidney failure. You know, I went, I went to an acupuncturist and he said to me, um, in, in Chinese medicine, uh, the acupuncture meridian that's associated with the kidneys uh, is also associated with the emotion fear. So he says, you know, people who are in too much fear, they get kidney failure. So they know like, you know, oh, you're angry. If you're angry for too long, you might get a heart attack. <laughs> so it's all there's all kinds of things, you know. If you're holding guilt, shame, anger, uh, various illnesses tend tend to be attracted uh, in relationship to that. So, um, but you know, they can, it doesn't. You don't need to know that. You don't need to do do, do that. You just clear it, uh, and and it will automatically be cleared in the order that you're clearing it, until it doesn't exist. Until no pain, no kidney failure exists. Or, and there's no story whichever method works you know they all work um so yep i'll just stop there